Good day guys, it's Pac Channel here, from Creed this time. And this is Charlie Hammond from The Gentleman Beer Style at Home. Now this is a really classic beer, and this guy just put it into crazy high. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my trimmer obviously, and I'm gonna do a few lines. So the basics, make the one line up here, and then separate this part as well. Make this part shorter, because it's, I mean it's summer, very hot outside. So it's the perfect time to wear something shorter than this. First, as always, to the trimmer with length control, and I'm gonna put it, as in my every single video, on a six millimeters. That's my favorite length. Now, before you start, you need to prepare your beard. Lucky for you, I already have this video, the morning beard routine every man should follow. It, it's supposed to be somewhere there. Trimmer, six millimeters, I'm gonna make the side beard with the one length. Okay, that was a very easy start. Six millimeters from the both sides, and now we're gonna do the side lines. Remove the length control, we don't need it. I will go a little down somewhere here, start the line, and then you need to make a break to leave this, this part, and then the same goes here. Okay, so for that purpose, first line I'm gonna do with this big one, big trimmer. And this small part here, I'm gonna do with the same, but you know, small for the more detailed part. Let's rock! Okay, that's pretty really interesting. You see the line, I hope it's pretty uh, pretty equal. And you see this separation right here. So maybe you say I did it here too much, but again, the all face shape is different to this, every single person. So in his case, yeah, in his case, this one is a little, you know, smaller, but I think it's it's pretty good under my face. Now, the next step, I want to finally remove this heavy moustache, which comes from my previous video about the hipster, so you can watch it after this one. So the moustache, I usually prefer it with, like, almost completely removed, but uh, this beard, the moustache is pretty... pretty massive, pretty neat. So I'm gonna put... Two, three, three. Let's say three millimeters, so double. So it was six, and here I'm gonna do three. See what happened. Right, all right. Now, you may say, and you may be right, that I took a little too much up here, but I mean, in, in one, two days, it's gonna be, again, growing, so not a big deal at all. It just, right now, it looked too sharp with this, like, I, I go too tight here and too tight here, so this one is look, I mean, really thin one, but again, in a few days, my moustache will grow back, so will be absolutely fine. Now, quickly to moustache again, with, where is it, with my uh, small one for details. So, what I'm gonna do is I remove the length, so now with the same length, and now I wanna do these details uh, from the, you know, upper lip, from the downsides of the moustache, and little from the upside, to make it a little more straight.
There we go. It's, I mean, it's very fast and easy. So now the difficult part with the beard itself. The biggest concern for you guys and for me as well, you need to decide the, the length. Now, I don't want to do this length control stuff. I'm going to do a straw just with my uh, technique and, and uh, with the trimmer. But, and again, it's summertime, so I, I want to make it a little <laughs> less hairy here. Just as always, I suggest you go little by little from one side and then to the other side. Don't go too much here, then too much here, too much here, too much here. And no beard at all. So basically, I'm going to do the shape and the length of the beard. Let's try. Okay, before you do, use your brush. It's so weird, on the camera my beard looks so dark and it's it's not it's, it's not like this in the real life. I don't know why this camera looks like this one. I'll, I will show you a little later when I finish. <laughs> this looks really fun. This guy is this guy is blonde and my hair is obviously is dark, but I think it's kinda similar. Oh, a little miss. You see? Sometimes it happens. So here is a straight line, and this one I put little, you know, that straight line. A quick fix. That was better. I'm gonna do one detail, which every single time in every single video I repeat it same again because I started using it not so long time ago. The chin line makes a huge difference. Watch this. You see, I hope I hope you can see it in the camera, but it's it's with the chain line it became very sharp and very good looking. A little brush. So one final touch with this trimmer, the shape a little more round. Let's go. So what do you know? It looks like it's now look very sharp, very sharp. The final part is the razor to remove all these small hairs up here, here, here and everywhere. You, you may know from, uh, from my previous videos that I guess for the last eight years, something like that, I didn't use a razor. So I have this one here, it's put it in a trimmer and it basically works like razor for the more details. I think this is it. I think this looks very good. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm pretty much happy with this one. Not, uh, how you can say, not uh, my, not the, my perfect type of the beard, my, my face. And uh, definitely something weird with the, <laughs> with the color of this camera. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think if I wear a suit and it looked on tie, from some perspective, you know, I may look pretty, pretty damn look like him. Smash the like button if you do love his movies. I do. And let me know if you want to see a video of me doing the Sons of Anarchy beer style.
Okay, from the beer, beer style itself, this is it. Now, for sure, when you remove the part of the beard upper than was before, you definitely need to use the uh, crimp. And again, guys, as I mentioned in every single video, please use the face cream every single day. We are not getting younger. Start using the face cream. At least something simple. Oh, and now about the new part of my videos. In the end, I usually put some frequency in the beer style. This guy in the movie, it's like the badass guy. The character of this guy is like, it's, it's mixed from everything. It's mixed from the guy in charge, but the guy who, you know, don't, don't afraid to take his own hand into something, but still keep himself stylish and good looking and all this stuff. And I was thinking like, what fragrance should he wear? And guess what? I think I find the perfect one. This is, is the Boss bottled. Well, well, I, I use the, the samples because I travel a lot, but this fragrance, I think, I'm pretty sure this is, the, well, first of all, this is the best German fragrance ever, okay? I don't think they will create something better than this one. So the scent, you get what you see, right? This is a Boss bottle. This is the scent of CEO who know what he's doing, who know perfectly his business, who can sit any position at his company and just get the work done. Know everything about anything, he controls every single situation in this business. From one side, it's pretty muscular to show your personality and the strength inside of you. From the other side, it's still got its little sweetness and freshness and aptness, which makes this scent just irresistible in the woman and other males in company, competitors, everyone will notice you and they will understand the type of person you are and they will definitely respect you. So I think Charlie Hammond in the Gentleman movie just got to wear the boss bottle. And a good bonus of this one, it's probably the most versatile fragrance. You just can't go wrong with this one. If you're a schoolboy, you can wear it. If you got the boss, of course. If you're a student, Bam! If you just graduated and find a job or it's your second, first, second job and you know what you're doing and know you, you know what you're going, you know where you're going to, bam for you. If you're 35, 45, 55 years old guy, CEO, 100% for you. Extremely versatile, very attractive and the symbiose of masculinity and a little sweetness with the apple. So this is the mix of power with attraction just irresistible all right so that was it from me to you today charlie hammond beer style at home thank you for watching stay safe and enjoy your life and i'll see you next beer